What's up everyone, I'm Becky Chalk with another video. Now for this one, this is going to be a Q&A video since I hit 200 subscribers, which is thank y'all so much for letting me hit 200 subscribers. Y'all are freaking awesome, y'all rock, y'all freaking amazing. I couldn't do this without y'all. So yeah, uh, I finally hit 200 subscribers. So yeah, and then I asked a lot of people if they, you know, if they asked questions so I could do a Q&A video. So yeah, and of course for this video we're doing a Q&A video. And I got a lot of great questions here that people have been asking and um so yeah. And first off, I'm not um going to say people's names on here because I don't want them to um not want their voices to be heard, you know, cuz some of them might not want their voices to be heard on YouTube. So I can't just shout out their names if they don't want their voices to be heard. So so yeah. First up, we have, now let's go on to the video. First up, we have favorite slasher. Now, a lot of people probably know what my favorite slasher is. And that is Michael Myers. Of course, I talked about this a lot. My second favorite slasher is Chucky. My number one favorite slasher is Michael Myers. Because of the iconic mask, the iconic music, you know, like, dun na 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 All that. Great. The moon atmosphere. Fantastic. So yeah, Michael Myers is always going to be my number one favorite horror slasher of all time. Next up, we have most underrated horror film. Um, That's a good question. Now, to me, the most underrated and unappreciated horror film is the Child's Play remake. Yep, I said it. Of course, it ain't as good as the original a lot of the best Child's Play movies. Of course, it ain't nearly as good as Child's Play 1 or 2. But to me, it's still in my top 3, though. It's crazy that sounds. I know it has a different story and everything. The Child's Play remake, it's unappreciated. It deserves a lot more credit. So, yeah, that's why that is um, my, my most underrated horror film. Now, we'll get to my least favorite film. My least favorite film. What was that movie piece of shit called? The Bye Bye Man? <whistles> the Bye Bye Man. Really? Really? The Bye Bye Man is the most like pieces of shit movies I've ever watched in my life. Didn't like the movie. You know, I don't like See the Chucky either. That's one of the worst. But like, The Bye Bye Man is just... Dumpster fire. So yeah, um, that's that's my least favorite film of all time. To be honest. Now, next up we have what got what got me into making videos. Very interesting question. What got me making? <laughs> what got me making videos? Like what got me into making videos? All right. So I I watched a lot of people's reviews. You know, um, and I like I watched a lot of people's reviews. You know, like Dave McRae, um, Cody Leach, and all them. You know, we 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 watched the movie, and then I watched also watched a lot of reaction channels, which is my favorite. Which I'll get to that in a minute. Somebody asked me who my favorite YouTuber is, but but you know, um, you know, I watched a lot of different um a lot of different videos, and then I was like, you know what, I want to do that one day, and uh, and of course. I'm doing that now. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's what got me into making videos. Now, next up. Favorite YouTuber. My favorite YouTuber that inspired me to do what I do has to go to Struggle Nation. If, if a lot of y'all don't know what Struggle Nation is, look them up. They are freaking amazing. They got me into horror. I mean, they, they are... Are what got me in to doing YouTube videos. What got me into YouTube videos is it's because of them. Like their their reactions and their movie reviews. They're funny. They're entertaining. So yeah, they they got me into um doing YouTube. So so yeah, because I watch their videos constantly, and um they inspired me pretty much. So yeah. Next up, we have one movie you can watch. Over and over without getting tired of. 
that would be um that would have to be either Furious 7 or Avengers Endgame. Those movies are amazing. Um, next up we have and next up we have um my favorite film. My favorite film would be either Fury Seven or my favorite action film would be either Fury Seven or um or Avengers Endgame. And my favorite horror movie would have to go to Halloween. Next up we have if you could if you could star in a film, what would it be? Um, I always wanted to be in an action movie. Um which is I highly doubt that would happen, but um I always wanted to be one of the main characters in a horror movie, you know, not playing the character but playing like this badass character by the end, but but who knows? Um and so yeah, um that's what I would would want to be. Next up Favorite decade in movies. Favorite decade in movies. Um, that's a hard question because there's a lot of good movies in different decades. Um, I enjoy the best. To me, the best years for um, movies would have to be either 2018 or back in 2016 because um, those are my favorite decades of movies. So yeah. Um, so yeah. That's it for my um, Q&A video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope I didn't bore y'all too much. Um, hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe and share. And also hit the bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. Peace out. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I'm out. Peace.